survival attempt. Today we started the episode off by doing a lot, and I mean a lot, of resource gathering. And yeah, this is no longer a birch forest, just saying. But even though collecting all that wood was a real experience, I don't think I really want to do it again. So today we are solving the problem of not having wood. So yeah, see you back at base. Did I just run out of rockets? I think I did. Alright, we're only a thousand blocks away from home. So it's going to be a long walk home, I guess. Alright, I'll see you back at base. Alright, I think we are closing in on the base. I believe it is in this desert. <laughs> But of course, I never take the coordinates from base, and yeah. Hopefully, oh, yes, there you go. That's the base. Now it's just a get over there. Ah, home sweet home. Here we are. So, this little trip of ours has been quite successful, and yeah, we have a lot of logs. So, today we are going to try to do a few different things. First off, you might have figured out from the intro, but we are going to try to put together a tree farm. Because I don't really love chopping down wood, and yeah, it takes a whole lot of time. So it's easier just to build a farm. So yeah, that is the first point on the to-do list. The second one is the one I'm standing on. For some reason, uh, this giant column is kind of destroying the farm, so we kind of need to fix it, it doesn't work at all. So yeah, I'm kind of low on iron, and yeah, I'd have to try to fix this. Those are the two points, let's get to them. So I think that the perfect way to build a three farm ow, is to, first of all, find the best spot. Let's see. Hmm. Over there, maybe. Sure, let's go over there and see. Alright, here we are. And... Yeah, I guess this is a good spot. Let's be here. Alright. The first block that is going to be removed. Right there. Alright, now... We need to get some resources, actually. So, let's... Get back to the base. All right, then we have collected all the resources, hopefully, that we're going to need. So let's just get to the building. Now, should I time lapse it? Mm. You know what? I'm going to time lapse it. I just love a good time lapse. So let's just get to it then. Well, turns out I don't have enough redstone, so I can't have the portraits on. But that is not a problem. Else, I think we have everything we need. Let's just jump over to that part and start building.
just came back to check on my AFK session and it appears like it has been a creeper here and killed me and destroyed parts of the farm. I'm not quite sure how this has happened, but I am definitely going to have to redo a lot of this and probably spawn proof the area around this place. So yeah, I'm gonna have to fix this up now. Alright, the farm is now up and running again. A few loose leaves here and there. Or missing leaves. Now, before I go back to the AFK session, I kinda want to spawn proof this place. And I think fences, torches, and yeah, that should do it. So, now I just need to get some leaves, some fences, and... Or maybe I will go with walls. Walls are probably prettier. Alright, now the thingy, the farm, is spawn proof. Hopefully. I have added some light, some walls, and... Yeah. It doesn't look too bad. Like, yeah, I can live with this. It actually works quite nice. But, yeah, the main point of this is just to, you know, keep me alive. Which, if we look at chat, it hasn't really kept, you know, doing. So, yeah. Now, I think we're ready to continue the FK session. So, see you after. So, now I've been FK for about an hour. And, yeah, at some point, within the last, let's see, 20 minutes or so, I ran out of bone meal. So, I didn't get the full effect of like a full hour of FK, but I did anyway get a lot of wood. You see this chest right here? Almost full with oak logs. So, this, this is awesome. This is more than I probably ever going to need. And that is, yeah, awesome. But the thing is, I have a chest over here as well. And that one also is kind of half full. It's logs in that one as well. So we have logs. We have plenty of logs. And we're not going to need need logs for a while. But no. We have logs. And that's awesome. This thing works. And wow. I probably have to make a bone mill farm next. Well. That is probably a problem for another episode. Because now I want to fix up another farm. I want to fix up that thing over there. Or I'm going to sleep first, but then I'm going to fix the iron farm. So the thing about this iron farm is, well, when I built this thing, the iron golem surrounding the farm, it kind of stopped the farm from working. I added carpets to try to lay the problem and like make the golems fall right into lava from the spawning platform but somehow now they're starting to like get down here and it is really destroying the raids right now i don't know why it's not spawning any golems but yeah we're going to have to fix this i am afraid we might just have to take our pickaxe and just take it down and then see if we can't do anything else for the farm First thing though, is probably just to cover up the lava, because I know I'm going to lose so much stuff down here if I don't, so. Let's just cover this one up. And let's take down the golem. What's sad is that I actually use quite a lot of time on this. But, I'm gonna have to power through. Alright, we're starting to take down the golem, and I have chosen a little bit of a odd approach but um i'm gonna stick with it and just take down the thing see when it's gone all right that is the last few blocks let me just get around this corner and there you go the entire golem is gone now i need to figure out why this thing doesn't work i probably need to take care of these resources first though 
let's see white concrete bone blocks wait a second it does work that guy just fell down there all right now we need to get him away from here and open up this hole and it should all be worked just fine again and i have iron forever and ever and ever so now we have logs for days and our iron supply is getting back up again so yeah i will call this a quite successful episode we have done a lot of stuff and i am super happy about it but for now thank you so much for watching and if you so much enjoyed the video please leave a like and consider hitting that subscribe button if you're interested in watching me live you can head over to twitch.tv slash event streams the link is in the description but once again thank you so much for watching and bye